All right, and welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also uh, later on on YouTube for our next deck, Four Color Gate Mill. So our, our plan is to kind of mill our opponent with these Psychic Corrosions uh, whenever we draw cards with stuff like Guild Summit and everything. Uh, so question here is, what's your answer if your opponent runs Nexus so you cannot mill them out? Um, well, we if that's the case, we just kind of have to attack with our creatures, I suppose. Like it, for game one, we just have like Hydroid Crisis that we can make a big Crisis and attack them. Um, I could certainly see that kind of being a problem. We have Teferi that can, you know, if we, you know, Teferi could just win games if we get to Emblem Teferi. Uh, we exile all their permanents and then it doesn't really matter because um, they'll just won't be able to cast their Nexuses and just draw them. Or whatever, and uh, we kill them with the creatures, and we loop our fairies. So I certainly see that being kind of a problem in the main deck. You know, sideboard we got more creatures and stuff, but you know, we, we we're not like 100% dead. But to that, so looking at this list, so this is another donation deck here, um, and then yeah, yeah, we'll bring in. That's what we'll bring in the Colossus and the Gatebreaker Rams, and have more things that, to deal damage. Um, I'm the biggest thing that. I don't like about this deck list. We'll we'll see if we'll see how it plays out. Of course, you know I haven't played games with this yet. The biggest thing that I don't like is having three copies of Circuitous Route. I think this card is absolutely amazing, and I don't I don't know why this is only three. I think this should be a four of in the gate decks. Um, that's that's the biggest thing that I like. You know, just looking at the deck list that is very questionable to me. But we'll we'll see how it kind of plays out. Because like even like finding like red mana for Gates of Blaze, you know, taking not having route makes it even harder. We have two Gateway Plaza, which I kind of I like Gateway Plaza, but I wouldn't mind having four Gateway Plazas. Honestly, I like that card um, just to add one like to to kind of fix the mana. So we have two of those, and then six red sources. So we have eight total red sources. So not very many. Um, so hey, what's up, nerd girl? So that's something that I could certainly see being a problem. Um, but yeah, we're you know going to play it like this, like like how like our deck was donated to us. But that's like just kind of preemptively uh, something I'm really worried about. Uh, and I, I think maybe like three Archway Angel may be a little much there, but we'll see. So let's uh, go ahead and try it out. So we have like the game one plan of kind of blanking our opponent's removal while we while we mill them out with corrosion and guild summit like that combo and then game two then they expect that so then game two we get to bring in our gatebreaker rams and our gate colossi um and uh kill our opponent there so nurgle how's your how's uh standard treating you so far how's your your testing going with that i know it's been uh, i haven't talked to you in a couple of days there I know your your format for the for the mythic invitational is going to be a little a little different um, than like regular standard. How it's best of one multiple times with no sideboards. Um. <laughs> when I try to play standard, I feel like the kid at the front of the bus eating glue. Oh no, that that doesn't sound like a good feeling. That doesn't sound like a good feeling. How many lands do we have in here? Because it doesn't seem like enough. From just our seven card hand and six card hand, which is just a, a really incredibly, incredibly small sample. And looks like we're playing 26 lands, so that's that's a good amount. Oh, cool, Ral. Yeah, Ral says this might be my favorite deck, the mind games between one and game one and game two. Ooh, Growth Spiral Mirror. Which this is not what we want to see, because uh, Teamer Colors with Growth Spiral most likely means Nexus of Fate, which that is, Nexus of Fate is not good for us to see here.
I pick like six decks that I'm playing just ten games with each day. Today will, will be day three. Okay. What, how has, you know, because I, I haven't played very much best of one myself. Um, how has best of one kind of, like, what do you play against a lot in best of one? I guess that's what I'm asking. Like, do you, do you find yourself playing um, against, like, Mono Red and Nexus just all the time? Because that's what I've heard. It's just kind of basically, it's like Esper Control and Mono Red. And like, you know, Nexus. That's like anti mono red Nexus. So I led with the Corrosion. I, last turn we could have played Teferi, but I, I went with Corrosion because we saw Ionize from our opponent the, the previous turn and they were still keeping three mana up. So I was thinking Counterspell and I'd rather the uh, Corrosion get countered. I guess I'd rather have Guild Summit get countered. We are flipping their Ascanta really quickly for them, though. Okay, a lot of Nexus and Esper control. Yep. I'm not sure if our opponent is Nexus, honestly. The rest of these cards that they're playing doesn't really seem like Nexus too much. Just kind of seems like a, I don't know, a team or control deck. Put that back. Not so fast. Not so fast. Uh oh. That one's not good. I really should have seen that coming. Hmm. So we need we need more. We need more lands. We need more gates in particular. Perfect. This is going to mill them out real fast. Yeah, I know we could route into a blaze, but I think just getting the other mill card into... Nah, did, didn't even a blaze. I think getting the other corrosion here because this is gonna really mill him out quickly. I think we can basically. I think our life total is high enough that we can take one hit from an invisit and go to milling him out faster. I could be wrong there. You think we're just gonna die next turn? I guess, does Explosion kill us? I guess I didn't really count to see if Explosion killed us. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 11. Right, right now we would go to 3 with Explosion. Uh-oh. Wilderness Reclamation Explosion could kill us. They already have 3 Explosions in the graveyard, though. That's good. Wait, no. It just looks like 2. Nope, there's a 3rd. Yeah, so there's 3 in, in the graveyard there. So can Krasis kill our opponent next turn? They're at 17. So every card we draw, draw mills them four. So all we need to do is draw... I think Krasis may mill them out next turn. Yeah. 
Yeah, we just we just win with Krasis next turn. So they they have to kill us here. There's certainly like a, a burn deck. We've seen so many burn spells here, but so many shocks and lightning strikes. I could certainly see us dying. I guess I wasn't safe. I thought I was going to be safe for another turn. You know, we were at 19 at the time. I thought we were going to be able to untap, but maybe not. They have to cast th three more spells? Oh, no. No, we're just dead. Is that for yeah. No, we're dead. Insight kills us. All right, needed to needed a gates of blaze, not corrosion. So team or control. Yeah, I can say I, I I could say I've never played against teamer reclamation with Niv like this. I could say I never played against this deck and so yeah you're right letting them untap with Niv Mizzet is a mistake you only make once <laughs> hmm kind of like going with the Rams like I did I don't want Cleansing Nova. Kind of want to go with my creatures here. I don't know. They seem like a kind of an easy deck to mill out, though. But I guess I expect them to have like a whole lot of negates and things like that. Yeah, let's go creature heavy. I could still have the corrosions in. Yeah, cleansing nova can kill like a bunch of enchantments from them with with Re reclamation and, and search risk can't it, but doesn't always. We have our we have our own enchantments that we're playing though. Also, I have less answers to Nymph Mizzet now. I I went ahead and just took out all the gates ablaze. So that's a tad scary. Um, but we're playing Ixalan's bindings. And so I don't I don't know if I want to just like be able to destroy my um my Ixalan's bindings also with cleansing nova. I don't know. I'm just taking it out as you can tell. So I'm gonna play a 4-4 ram next turn. Hoping no Lava Coil. Not really expecting Lava Coil to be in their deck. Wow. They had Lava Coil. That was something I was not expecting. Not expecting at all. Opponent keeps doing the unexpected. Killing me when I was at 20. Having Lava Coil. Could, could not go any worse. So 
So I want one more land in play before I play Krasis. At least one more. Never mind, it could go worse for us. I think that was just a perfect hand for the opponent. Just <laughs> every single turn is perfect. I don't have any gates of blaze, blazes or sweepers or anything for this biogenic ooze. Yeah, since turn two. Say, what's the best card you could have? Like, Lava Coil. Or I guess that's their turn three, because that's when I played played that. So their turn three, what's the best card they could have? Lava Coil. Next turn, what's the best thing they could have? Wilderness Reclamation plus Destroy My Enchantment. Next turn, what's the thing they could have? Best thing they could have? Biogenic Ooze plus Counterspell. <laughs> uh, one of those games. Hey, we just went five. We just went five zero last league. It's okay to have this match. So it's okay. Yeah, reclamation with with Dawn of Hope is awesome. That's a really good, really good combination. Dawn of Hope is um, a great card with lots of mana. And that's what Wilderness Reclamation does. It allows you to have lots of mana. Well, I guess we, we aren't completely dead yet, I guess. All right, I guess I shouldn't put up loss yet. Nice, Friar. Got the cards for most of the decks. Love it. It's our, this is our one Nexus of Fate in the deck. All right, that's done. What tier is Niv Reclamation? Uh, I don't know. Um, I've never played against the deck before, so I don't think it's. Uh, I wouldn't say it's close to tier one. Does Repudiate check Krasis's ability? Yes. Right? I think I have to like read repudiate, but yeah, I think so. I think repudiate's a. Uh, yeah, I think it would counter the triggered ability as far as I know. Um. Man. Hands good. But we don't have enough lands. Uh, has Mill ever been a tier one deck? The closest it probably got, probably not. I think the closest it got was with 
Uh, there's a blue red mill deck that Michael Majors used to win a Grand Prix, um, even though he never played the deck before. Um, I don't remember what. I can't remember the name of the card, so I was trying to think of the name of the card. That it was built around, that it was based around. I'm sure somebody in chat saying it right now, but Hawkeye's in my way. Can I just get the first hand? Sphinx's tutelage. There you go. Yeah, Sphinx's tutelage. <sighs> Alright, so we're playing against Mono Red. So we at least know what we're playing against. Gonna need these creatures in here. Expansion can copy like their burn spells to like kill their creature. Corrosion's absolutely coming out. Think expansion's really good against mono red. Yeah, like copying like a lightning strike and striking their creature with it is is really nice. Um, but if they don't have a creature in play and they're just lightning striking you, copying isn't going to really do very much. No, I don't really need to ferry. Maybe guild someone's better than to ferry. Do you like Teferi tucking? I'm gonna go two and two. Copying light up the stage, that could be good. That's a good point. That's certainly a good card to copy. Sudi, yeah, you probably need to refresh your stream. But maybe maybe it's just I never get notifications from you for some reason. Which is unfortunate. It does show that I have one more sub. Oh! Uh, no, I was looking over there. We didn't even get to the sideboard. Why don't they give you any sound notification? Like, anything. Well, this is unfortunate. We have these Psychic Corrosions in our deck that are horrible. Alright, well I'm counting it, Sudi. Because yeah, it shows that we're down to 90, so... Should have the, that resub. Oh, here, I can, I can do this alert here. Here we go, I found it. There we go. Nailed it. Yeah, Hawkeye was blocking the, the timer bar for us. Alright, so number 10 on the day. Can we still get there, even without sideboarding? It'll certainly be tough.
We need another land so we can route to find white mana for revitalize. Alright, that's white mana. I guess we'll just get the guild summon it in play. It's only a draw one right now, but it'll draw more cards in the future, hopefully. Down to seven. Down to six with the Viashina Pyromancer. Just have all these stupid corrosions. We need to draw Plaza of Harmony. Plaza of Harmony. Gain us three life and then Archway Angel. Of course, our, our opponent, um, all they need is like any burn spell that kills us. If their hand just has a burn spell, we're dead. That's going to look give them lots of looks at burn spells. But now, now they can't Viachino Pyromancer in that. But two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they just played the one from hand. That's good for us. It may not matter. Like if they just have shock, it doesn't matter. But come on, Plaza. Angel gains ten life. If it's not Plaza, it's got to be Untap Land. No, there's no Clarions in the sideboard. Really? Just waited like a long time? You just had a burn spell to kill us? Alright, so that was a really quick 0-2. Um... We were, could have probably won the very first game that we played. Um, but, yeah, didn't really find out very much about the deck. We just played four quick games. Uh, the first game we could have probably won. I think if I play the Gates of Blaze, we probably win that um, instead of the other Psychic Corrosion. But then, then uh, games two, three, and four, we just got annihilated every game. Um, of course, not sideboarding certainly hurt the red matchup there, but honestly, I don't, I don't know if we win that if we just have like rams instead of corrosions. I think our opponent had enough burn spells to kill us. I, I don't think that we would have won if we even sideboard. It's not like we brought in like any life gain. So I, I don't think, I don't think the not sideboarding was why we lost that. I don't think our, it doesn't really look like our deck's too good against mono red, especially Especially not the hand our opponent had that game too. I think that they um, they kind of they kind of would have annihilated us anyway. Yeah, maybe we. Yeah, that was really quick. Um, so yeah, we could play like two play like two ranked matches also. With it. Just so we can just play a little more, because that was, you know, instead of starting an entire new league, because that was a really quick one. Well, Mill's not our only way to win, Mascalar. It's not like if our opponent has a Nexus of Fate, we can't possibly win. You know, we have creatures and planeswalkers and stuff like that. But 
I understand the sentiment of that being a problem. But yeah, so far this this deck hasn't seemed better than the other gate decks. Uh, you know, just we haven't hasn't uh, hasn't seemed like an upgrade yet. Um, stream decker is just like where you use your deck list and everything. It's Anybody can put deck lists up on Stream Decker. It's free to use. Big thing is I don't like our mana base. We're just never going to cast Gates of Blaze. I don't think we've been very fortunate with our draws, though. We've had a lot of trouble getting lands into play in our 26 land deck. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Honor Guards and Mardu. Um, are we playing Mardu up next? Yeah. Yep, I'm playing Honor Guards and Mardu up next. Red gate? Not a red gate. Um, as y'all have seen me play like teamer gates, uh, a decent amount, and I like that the teamer version that I have because I like the uh, I like the mana these four color gates decks I I have not liked I don't like the mana in these I don't like having four colors um, it's been just a, a real big problem every time I've played it of course I also play four of the come into play gate that is five colors uh, gateway plaza I play four of that card also uh, to even make the three color deck mana, the mana in the three color deck even better. But, you know, like we just can't, we can't even cast Gates of Blaze. We just don't have red mana. There's only eight red sources in the deck. Like, I, I don't know why, like, why do people do that? Have eight red sources in a deck with, like, the most important card, like the sweeper there. I don't know. Not a fan. All right, let's cut those. Cut these. All right, we're going to try. Oh, uh, settle instead of Nova. All right, let's try this. Burly man, welcome back. 19 months. Saying, did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can get Twitch Prime? Yep, just link your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, your Twitch account, and th then you automatically have Twitch Prime. And then you can get you, you can support your favorite streamers for free, just like Burtley Man did with that Twitch Prime subscription. So thank you so much, Burtley Man. And yeah, that's available for anyone as well. All right, so that gets us. So I like that we have Gateway Plaza here. Honestly, Gateway Plaza is really good. I kind of wish we had four of this card. Um, you know, next turn we can play the Gateway Plaza. We'll just pay the one mana, and now now we have all five colors. I like that a whole lot. I think if you're playing the four color deck, five Gateway Plaza is where I'd start. Honestly, I think that's that's a 
uh, necessary evil. So now we have the 4-4 four, four ram. Yeah. Yeah, Cap, we can. Uh, have you heard of the black-white revenge deck that gets you to hundreds of health? No, I have not heard of any deck like that. Okay, you've been you've been playing two gateway plazas. Yeah, you should maybe go to four. Honestly, having all your colors like five color land in your four color deck is really nice. Really, really nice. Um. No, I'm not playing modern. Oh, you've seen that deck boot? Yeah, I, I haven't seen that deck. Yeah, this, this version is just playing only a few red sources and playing... Um, like, Gates of Blaze is basically the only red card. And it's playing more white cards. Yeah, you have to to be able to cast statue on your chain whirler on arena. You have to be able to hold con you have to hold control, because um, otherwise it'll just have the trigger respond automatically, or the trigger will just happen automatically. So you have to hold control. So you can do that with just the control button or shift control, either way. But yeah, you, that's what you need to be doing. More gates. I think we got this game. I think we got this game. Oh, okay. So amulet deck with the, the card that doubles your life. Gotcha. Yeah, I hadn't seen that deck at all. All right, so can we win a game three on the draw? Oh, opponent before damage. Our opponent needs to, before damage, shoot us with that 1-1. One, one. They also just don't need to block because like the trample. As well, but... Well, they're they were dead to the the ram the next turn I I guess but yeah all right can we win this game on the draw Ugh. Well, so if they if they block and sack, they don't they don't prevent any damage with blocking because of trample. So there's there's just no reason to block and sack. That's just the same as just sacking. I just dealt 12, 24 damage to my opponent and made them draw 24. Worth it. Yeah, even if you lose a few in a row, doing something really cool like that can uh, make you feel a lot better. Uh, John Midrange is not up on YouTube yet. It is almost ready to go. Let me, I guess I, I got to finish that up. 
It is the seventh today. So I cannot um I can't gate to blaze and kill the chain whirler. So I'm just gonna revitalize this turn. I was planning on gates of blazing if they you know had just only smaller creatures. All right, I want to make sure to do this before damage. Otherwise, they could just respond and to kill and kill us. Just cast this now. All right, Jun mid range will be up shortly. I got all the the info on it. It's at 95% processed. Okay, I think I think we have a chance here. Expansion with revitalize is really nice for us. The gain three copy it. That's actually really nice for us. So hope our opponent doesn't have four points of burn with these two cards. If they don't, I think we have a good chance. You know, get to gain six here. I think this is the turn the opponent has to kill us. Oh, that's bad. No, they had it. Wow. They had it. All right. So, I guess to finish up the four color Gates Mill deck, we didn't get to really do anything that cool. Unfortunately, we had to play against Mono Red twice that um, we don't get to Corrosion, really. Um, and the one time we were going off with the Corrosion, I needed to gate to blaze the Nivmas, and I didn't. Yeah, I I don't like this mana base. I don't like all these, like, these white spells in here. I don't like how we can't gate to blaze very reliantly early. Uh, we were pretty lucky to gate to blaze a couple of times there against our opponent. I don't know. Not, not very impressed with this deck. Yeah. So, there we go. Alright, so that's Four Color Gates Mill. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you on for the next video, which we're going to have Mardu Angels up next. So, thanks for watching.